Hello again, this is Marxist, and we'll be talking about process in this video, episode one. So we'll be discussing the mid-fight for process. I'll go over each class and provide two strategies, basic strategies, that you can use on mid. There are a lot of other things that you can do on this mid. These are just two basic sort of starter strats that are easy to use and to do and to give you kind of a hang for what you can do on this map. I'm also going to go over the rollouts, although, disappointingly, I won't be covering in depth the fast soldier rollout, but you will have a slight example of, of what to do here. So to begin, we'll talk about rollouts. The rollouts are extremely important especially for your demo, for getting your team on time and in the position that you want. I'm going to cover them in the standard order of scouts, soldiers, then medic demo, and I'll also show you visual examples of invite players carrying out said rollouts. Because scout is so straightforward on this map, I'm not really going to go over it with a, a video. Just remember some simple facts. Duck at the start so that your medic can heal the demo and maybe the roamer on this map if need be. Make sure that you get buffed prior to your going out to second. So once you get out of doors, you're going to no longer be getting healed and you don't really, shouldn't really wait. And also don't take fall damage if you drop to the ground from the battlements. But other than that, it's you're just going to hold W pretty much after you go out of that right side spawn door. You have three options as soldier here. You can do a normal jumping, an equalizer, or a fast gunboats rollout. You need to have somebody... In a normal setup, you're going to have somebody that's jumping and one that's equalizing. And I'll show both of those. And then you can have a faster gunboats rollout, in which case the you won't really need an equalizer because you're not going to see the, the jumper, the fast jumper ever again. This is Tyrone showing the jumping rollout style. The map, these are older demos, so the map will look a little bit different, but it's mainly just nice leisurely jumps to get you there. He could afford to do one more or two more, but it's really not a huge deal. And this is Dave AC from an older season showing how to do the equalizer rollout. Just shoot yourself till you're about 60 to 80 health, and then... Stop equalizing once you pass under the bridge. And this is a partial demonstration from Blaze showing the fast soldier rollout. They're not doing it per se because you would need to get healed much earlier if you were going to do it this way. But these are exactly the jumps you would do to get yourself to mid very quickly as you can see there. So we're going to talk about the medic rolling out. You heal your demo to 260. Make sure he doesn't jump too far away. Chastise him very strongly if he does. Stay with him until he does his first big jump. Then you're going to turn around real quick, flash your roamer, just to get him a little bit, or whoever the jumper is. It doesn't have to be the roamer. And then you're going to buff your scouts and go back to healing the jumping soldier. If you have a soldier that's going for the very fast gunboats rollout, you need to heal him the way I do it is you'll just flash your demo to 260, he'll do his initial little jump, then you give the roamer 300, then you go back to healing the demo and ride him the rest of the way out. And that should make sure that your roamer's got 300 and your your demo's got two, the 260 he needs. And this is a demo from Pure, back in the days when he was playing Met on Mihai's Flow, this is an old, old demo, so the map is a little different, but the the rollout that they do is exactly what I've outlined. So you can see him do everything that you saw outlined in the prior card. For de the all-important demo man, you've got two options, basically. The standard, which is going to see you do what I'll demonstrate in, in the video, and then you'll cut left or right, 
or you can do a straight jump off of the battlements into the sewer and come out of the sewer door. That's really not at all advantageous if you can use the standard rollout. The only thing that you would use it for is if you have trouble or are inconsistent in doing the normal rollout and you've botched it a couple times or whatever and you just would like to go sewer. It could also be an every once in a while kind of thing that may work out. And here's Banny showing how to do the process rollout in the standard way. It's an older demo so the process looks a little bit different but the jumps are all still the same. Now we'll talk about what each class does starting with the scouts. You will have an aggressive and a passive, aka Mama Bear Scout, and I'll go over what those do in, in more detail later. But your aggressive scout's essentially going to attempt to pressure the demo, or at least pretend to, or pressure scouts. Your passive or Mama Bear Scout is just going to guard your demo. That doesn't mean be really passive. That means in the event that anything attempts to pressure your demo, you're going to get very upset about it and rip said things thrown out. So a scout, you've got a couple different options to go with at mid. The most popular one is to just jump at this rock and then jump again, and now you're up here. You're going to just hold the crates, fight about, do your thing on top of the crates. If the demo's sticking you up here, then you can go off of the little crate and get up about just as easily. You should always have at least one of your scouts going upper because that's pretty much the best spot on the map for a scout because you're just going to rain death on any soldier that tries to jump you. You should know that's more or less the job of the aggressive scout. You're also going to obey the rules regarding the, uh, the demo. So if you're up top your scatter shots should go at the demo to remind him that you're here. So if you're on top of the crates and he's here, then remind him of your presence. Make sure that he feels threatened by you. If he's undefended, so for example, he's over here and both their scouts are over on those boxes, then just drop and kill him. And that's more or less the job of the aggressive scout. The passive scout should know where your demo is going to be. So if he's on this health pack here, then you can play up here, or you can just wait uh, back on this rock like this, and then you'll just jump on whoever attacks your demo. Or you can go ahead and go up if it's sort of understood that you being the demo man protector will get up here, run across, and then protect your demo that way as the aggressive scout sort of comes behind and threatens the demo and stays in the back. Really, that's more or less all there is to scout. It's just, if you're playing scout on this mid, it should basically be, am I on the crates or not? If I'm not on the crates, I need to find a way to get on the crates or a rock as soon as possible. Then after the initial phase of the mid, the passive scout that's guarding the demo, the mama bear, will get healed. The aggressive scout will get healed. Ideally, the medic will just be here and you'll, he'll be able to heal the scouts from here. And the passive scout will run over. Or if you've gone this way, then... You know, the med can just heal everybody from the health pack area down around here and things will be great. For the roamer at mid, I'll go over passive and standard play styles. And if you do the fast rollout, you're basically committed to their demo. So we'll cover roamer in a standard way first. Uh, the easiest thing to do is you're just, you'll know whether your team's going right or left. We'll assume right in the first case. You'll just jump onto their demo. You can even do a double jump if you like. You don't need to. Uh, but essentially, you're just going to try and jump their demo, do your bombing thing. If you go to the left, then an easy thing to do then as Roamer is to just jump off the rock like so. 
You can also, if you're really adept, do a double jump off of this stuff over here. And that works pretty well too. Or you can do these kinds of jumps if it really makes you happy. Uh, those are all options for Roamer. Just sort of as jumps. You're going to bomb right away on this mid in, in most cases. And that'll get the team disorganized and backed up so the rest of your players can go about doing stuff. It's just it's important that someone back you up. You can play passively on this mid. And usually the way that's done is you'll just walk out of here, do a straight jump over, and then get up here and more or less just hide. Another really popular tactic is for the roamer to come out of mid here and then just jump straight over and then land somewhere around here. It's hard for me to do surf jumps because my key I'm still using a really bad keyboard. And you'll just end up you try and get into here as quickly as you can into their computer room and then you just distract them. And then once you've got them distracted, you either wait and come back out and shoot them or jump them, or you can bait your team and jump all the way out of here, and you'll end up here, and you can re-jump them from their own choke, however you like. That's an extremely popular roamer play, to just put your roamer in IT as a distraction, and it's, it's a trick you can use too. As Pocket will go over more passive and aggressive play styles, but but no like special stuff. Now, as Pocket, you should have a pretty clear idea as to which way it is that your team's planning to favor, and if it's the right side, then your job is easy. You're just going to come up here, and you're going to spam rockets, and you're going to try and scare their scouts off of this upper area. You can also get back on this slope, which protect gives you a little bit of cover from everything and you're just gonna try and fight as best you can from up here the moment you see them rotate either this way or start to back up then you just jump onto them and finish the game and also landing on the rock is pretty fortuitous because you're hard to shoot up there uh, your other option is if your team is going left and they've committed to that idea You've got a couple different jumps you can do, but more or less all you're going to do is just sell out and go left immediately and then get on top of the crates this way. Don't do that if they've got a ton of scouts on the crates because you're just going to get devoured. And so you just push this way and try and make things happen that way. If it happens that they've gone to their health pack, then don't come around here. And then you're just going to, you know, you'll take your crates or try to contest them or wrap around. And you're basically playing roamer by the time you wrap around here. Also keep in mind that this is going to block your rocket jumps in some cases. So that's, uh, those are your pocketing options. Essentially your default is either going to be here waiting for something to happen, scaring people off of high ground, and then jumping the rock. Or jumping here if there aren't any scouts, or wrapping around here and just slow pushing, basically. As medic on mid, your first priority is to find and heal the demo man. Once the demo's at about 150 plus, find your scouts, heal them, win mid. If your demo dies first, leave mid. And if a scout on your team dies first, be careful because you might lose soon, so be careful not to get too invested. As medic, your goal is going to be to find your demo right away. So what you do here is if you know he's going to be to the left, then you just go to the left hard. Your scouts should then, once he's healed to about 150, then your demo, your scouts should start coming to you in your demo and you heal them up. They should be up there, and then, or down around here, you heal them and you win mid at that point. You can try to heal your pocket up, make sure, 
If your pocket is in the area to give them about 150, a real common example of that occurring is your demos decided to go right and use this little health kit. You heal your demo up to about 150. You can actually go less on this because it'll be less threatened. And then you'll start healing your scouts who will have come back here about that time to get healed. And then you can just ride your pocket on and around with scouts. Uh, as medic, there are also some important things to keep in mind. And that's if your demo dies first, then you need to get out. It's also very possible for a roamer to be onto you very early on this map, so keep that in mind. Keep your eyes to the sky, so to speak, especially if you can hear the rocket jump coming. Uh, and then, other than that, you should pretty much just focus on healing scouts and demo, keeping your pocket at a relatively decent amount of health, so that around 150, so that if needed, he can jump the rock and finish the mid. As demo, I'll go over left and right strategies, and also keep in mind if they do the fast soldier rollout, you need to look to the sky. So as demo man, you're gonna get here to mid, and you're going to want you're gonna finish your surf, and you're gonna end up about here, and you're gonna want to start charging your sticky. You're gonna shoot it about there. You're gonna try and intercept their demo. If he's slightly faster, then you might have to do one of those. If he's slightly slower then aim for the top of the rock. Essentially what you're going to do here is you're going to try and sticky their demo with your first sticky. Then you're going to have to keep in mind what your mid strat was as to whether or not you're going to be favoring the left or the right. If you do have to come out of the sewer, then you're just going to be over here and you'll be favoring sewer the whole time. And your first sticky is essentially just going to go up and over like that. And you'll hope for the best. I don't really know the angle. It'd be something you'd want to practice such that it would land about there. And you're going to shoot your first sticky at their demo. And you're going to end up playing on a health pack. Ideally, your second sticky may also go at the demo, especially if you hit him. Then your third sticky is going to go for the top of the rock. I screwed that up there, but you get the idea. That's because scouts are going to be up there. And then once you see that their combo has arrived, you're going to shoot three pipes at them. They'll be favoring left or right, so that's something for you to know. Now, as demo, an important thing is if you don't see their demo at all over here, that means they're definitely going to go right because he's gone out of the sewers or you didn't see him because he walked along behind the rock and you just totally didn't see him at all. Most people won't do that. But if you don't see him at all, you know they're going to be here and you can just start moving yourself here and just waste all your stickies and pipes and everything on them. Otherwise, if you hit their demo while he's over here, after having got, you know, if you're over here to get the health pack and you've hit him, then you can just drop down and start moving on him because you know you're going to chase him out. If you're over here on the right, then you can wrap very aggressively from the right. So you just you if you hit their demo, start pressing up any way that you can. When their whole shebang gets there, shoot three pipes at it. And that'll give you some more damage output as you're gonna go into So you're gonna end up with four stickies after all that. Reload a sticky, shoot a sticky at them. Reload a sticky, shoot a sticky at them. That way, when they're all grouped up, you just shoot four stickies at it, and the mid-fight's basically over. So, in essence, what Demo ends up doing, basically, is if you get good damage on their Demo, then you're going to end up pushing either up the middle or around the right side, depending on which way you've gone. Or you're going to end up not seeing him at all or he's going to be pretty slow and you'll know that you can get over here really easily that's really all there is to demo at mid also keep in mind that if anything gets on top of these crates you can just dominate it so keep in mind that you're the best defense against anything being on crates so now we're going to put everything together uh, that i've shown in the rest of the video and I'll give you two basic mid strats for CP process. 
The first one we're going to talk about is going right. The whole team favors the right side. First, we're going to cover what the aggressive scout does in this strategy. And the red lines symbolize initial actions, which are then broken up. And orange lines are secondary actions after you've gone back and gotten buffed. And the white line is attacking the demo. So essentially what you're going to do is you get up on the rock and you jump over to the right crates. You then favor to the right if their demo's on the health pack. If the demo isn't on the health pack and he's gone there suicide, then you need to call it out and rush over there to contest the scouts uh, so that your roamer can, can shift over. Because you're going to end up fighting a backwards mid if you all favor right. So you need to try and pin them down a little bit. Then you're going to fall back on the back right side. And then you're going to either rush left over top of the crates or rush right over top of the crates. And we'll talk about the passive or mama bear scout. You too will go up off the rock or you can use the little rock if you're feeling afraid. Then you're just going to chill on the little shack that's sort of lined up there with that crate. And you're going to deny anyone that tries to get on your demo who will be going right. Uh, or trying to wrap around from your health pack side. Then you'll eventually get buffed. At which point, if they're at their sewer side, you'll run over top of the crates onto them from the sewer side. Or if they're on their own health pack side, you'll run over top of the crates and attack them that way. As Roamer, you're going to jump right onto their health pack. You can use the fast rollout to do that if you want. And try to get into their IT. Or you can just bomb straight onto them. It doesn't really matter which you do. If you bomb straight onto them, you need to be careful to call when you jump so that your team knows to follow up right away. Because it's not going to work if you jump on them and everybody's still standing on the crates being a doofus. If you hide an IT, then you can come out and jump onto them wherever they might be or come out of choke. As Pocket, you're just going to jump onto that little shack that's sort of adjoined to the crates. Then once you see the enemy back up or get distracted, you're going to jump straight away onto them. And you're either going to jump left if they're favoring the sewer side or jump right onto them on the right. You could even land on the the rock if you wanted to you can also do that if you ever know that you end up with a two player two pick advantage that's a given for sure it's pretty simple as medic find the demo heal him heal the rest of the people as i described then you're either going to wrap around the right side if they're right or wrap around and push up the middle if they're on the left side Things can get pretty complicated here with demo, so I tried to make everything as multicolored as possible. Essentially, you're going to get to mid and walk towards the right, which is the black line. Then you're going to shoot your first two stickies over to the right side. So that's the bright green and blue lines. Then you'll shoot your third sticky onto the top of the rock which is the red line to deny scouts the ability of using that rock to get on then you shoot your last sticky either onto the demo if you've hit him a bunch of times and you get more aggressive or you throw one on top of the left crates or right crates whichever crates you feel like then you throw away three pipes and then start moving slowly to the right. Eventually you're going to end up at where their health pack is. And then you're just going to plus forward them wherever they are. And this is a pictorial representation of sort of the whole team together as to what it's going to look like. Then I draw two X's. One on the little rock, which means if they're favoring the left sewer side, then everyone's going to try and push across those crates and get to them. If they're favoring their health pack side, then you're just going to push them directly from where you are. It'll be really easy. So you've got height advantage on them from the crates. Your demo comes around the right side and you win. Now I'll give you a second mid strat and that's going to be a going left. Now you're going to jump on the rock as aggressive scout 
and you're going to head towards the left crates. And once you're there, you'll fight chip shot a little bit, and then you may need to fall down. You'll get healed. And then you're either going to wrap around left side, or if they're not there, you're going to wrap around through the bottom of the point. Ideally, you could do that by getting back up on the crates. As the passive scout, you're going to end up either going off the rock and onto the boxes and favoring the left side, or more likely, you're just going to cut to the extreme left and run past your demo while looking right to make sure nothing's going to just rush across the point. And you'll chill there around the little barrel, jumping on and off of the crates. You'll get healed, and then you'll rush across the crates to whichever direction they happen to be. As Roamer on left, you're just going to bomb straight onto their sewer door. You can favor the right or favor the left. It's more or less personal preference as to what you like to do. I'd mix it up if you're going to go left a bunch of times. Also vary your timings. And be sure to call when you jump. You can also try to go into the sewers on this if you want to. As Pocket when you're going left, you're going to try and bomb onto the left-sided crates. If there's a scout there, then don't do that. That'd be suicide. So you're just going to do a long jump left and try and slowly apply pressure around the left side if they've gone to the right, their own right. If not, then you're just going to probably easily jump that crate and then you'll push across eventually jumping them if they're on their health pack side or just push across the left side uh, around the crates. As medic, when you're going left, you're just going to beeline it to the left, heal up your demo scouts and pocket as much as you can, and then either wrap around left if they're on sewer side or cut across the point while healing the people above you on the crates, and eventually you and the demo on mid, standing on the cap itself, will just push them out if they're on their own health pack side. Here, you're going to do the same thing as before, where you're going to shoot two stickies at their demo, then your third sticky at the rock, and then your fourth sticky is either going to go on top of a crate or at their demo again if you hit him. Then you're either going to push around the left side if they're on the sewer side, or push directly down across the point. Also, you can mix things up here, and if you damage their demo really well early, then you can just start rushing across the point, and your team's basically just going to create a little glob on the left-sided boxes, and you may be able to cut them in half that way. Putting it all together, you should end up with something that looks kind of like this. If they're on the sewer side, then you just push off the crate that you've bought for yourself and annihilate them. And if they're on your health pack side, then you push across the point, and, or on their health pack side, excuse me, and you push across the point and annihilate them. And now for just a few general tips and tricks. If somebody has left mid, so they've gone out of the sewer, gone into IT, gone out of your own choke or whatever, don't bother with them unless they're a medic who is alone. Otherwise, they're gone, they can't hurt you, don't worry about them. Scouts cap the point. So many teams fail to capture mids because their scouts run off and pick 1v1s that aren't anywhere near the point, or they chase people who've gone into sewer or chase people onto two and die. Scouts cap the point. If you're playing demo and you hurt their demo early, get aggressive, very aggressive, but not so aggressive that you put yourself in a ridiculous situation where you're going to get instantly vaporized. And that's my rough guide to process mid. I hope you found it to be enjoyable, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments.